going to be showing you my back to school organization tips and some of the stuff that I'm going to be using for school to keep myself organized. So let's get into it. So first we are going to be starting in this front pocket right here and I'm just going to unzip it. And the first thing that you see is my icebreakers. And these are really good if you want to snack on something in class because most of my teachers don't really allow gum. So these are good if you want a little snack. And then in this zippery pocket right here, there is this really adorable mi mirror. Oh, mirror. And it's got this super cute face on it. And when you open it up, it's got this mini mirror and a nice hairbrush. And I got this from Target. And it's really cute. And it was in the miniature section, I like to call, where they keep, like, all the mini shampoos and stuff like that. The miniature section. Because that's what I think it's called. Then I have these little binder clips. But I am not going to be keeping these in this pocket. I'm probably going to put put these in my binder so these are just in there for like a little bit of amount of time and then I always have to keep some tissues on me just in case I have to use them or blow my nose or something but that's what you use tissues for right and then I have this cute little flashcards holder well I wouldn't say it's cute it's just it's just like hot pink but it's nice and handy I can just slip this right out and bam this and then the last thing that is in here is this little slot and it holds my Texas instrument calculator and it is purple and this is really nice and organized because it's just got you just slide this right off and it doesn't take that just really quick and easy you just slide this out and this actually fits perfectly in this pocket right here just slide it right in I, I just fits perfectly and then you have these little pencil holders right on here and this book bag is actually really really spacious I, I was uh, kind of like worrying because I didn't know if it was going to be big enough since it is my first year in the middle school so but it actually is very spacious and I and I'm glad about that by the way this is the laptop backpack by Vera Bradley and I thought this pattern was really cute so it's really nice. Moving on to the biggest pocket in my book bag. Is there in here there is a lot of room in here and I like this because if you unfold it your binders won't be falling out because there's this cute little binder well it's not really cute but it keeps some things are cute but there it just like to hold your binder and so you won't have to be worrying about your binders falling out of your backpack so the first thing in here is this cute accordion folder which i got from staples and i just i'm probably going to put like some loose papers in here if i need to next thing in here i have to put this down because it's getting heavy is ugh, my binder and this is really really cute and handy for when I need to just go in it and when you open it up the first thing you see are some book covers which I got from Target and this is really heavy so that's why I'm talking in that weird voice and then I have this little pencil case holder and this is these are actually very handy if you have a lot of school supplies and they're really nice just if you need that. Um, and then you are uh, inside. I just have some colored pencils, post-it notes, um, highlighters, binders, I mean paper savers. They're just they and um, what they do is they save your paper if it rips and you need to put it in your binder. And I got all of this stuff from Target. And Target just it's awesome. And then I have, this is my, me, my mom, and my sister are starting this new, like, organizational thing where we have to, like, it's, like, a certain thing that we have to do. And wh what we got was we got two, like, little accordion folders. And this one is red, and this one is purple. Yeah, it's purple. It kind of looks blue in the camera, but it's purple. And what we do is we put our homework that is to do in the red file. And then we put the homework that is done or is ready to be handed in in the purple one. 
So we basically just know what we have to do and what we are done with and are ready to hand in. And then I have some loose leaf paper, which is from Target. Then these little dividers are from Target, and I just labeled all of them. So all of this is from Target. And then I have this nice little pre-algebra um, study guide, which is nice. And it's really good if you have like a pre-algebra. I take pre-algebra this year. So it's really nice if you just need to take a test and it unfolds out. So you're just ready to go. It's actually really big, so yeah. I'm going to be studying a lot more this year, thanks to my mom. And then I have some more loose leaf paper, and then back here, just more loose leaf paper. Just gotta have your loose leaf paper, because you never know when you're going to need it. So that is what is in my binder. The next thing that is in this big old pocket is my planner, which I got from Target. And it's very good. It's very good to have a planner because if you need to like, it's good because this is very help. This will help you very much if you want to be organized this year. Um, it is weekly, monthly planner, and it's just pink. And I thought this was really cute. I love this design on it, and it's really really cute. And it's really nice because it's like it has the dates labeled on the side. See that? And it says July, so if you want to go to July, you just open it up to July. My school starts in September, which is kind of far away, but I'm still looking forward to starting school. And you just open that up, and you got your whole September. And then it's really good, because I will probably write my homework down here. It's got all the days, nice big things until September ends. So this is really nice, and it is from Target. The next thing that is in, the last thing that is in this big old thing is my, um, my notebook. And it is college ruled, it has 70 sheets, and it is purple, which is really cute. Moving on to the last pocket in my book bag, which you'll be surprised. It's empty. But it probably won't be soon. It, since it is the laptop book bag, it's got a nice section for your laptop, and it's got a nice strap, so it'll be in there nice and tight. And I'll probably put my laptop in here, so that's nice. And then it's got some extra uh, space, so, so you can put some other notebooks if you don't have enough room in here. And I really like this, so I think it's really cute. And then it's just got this, like, I don't know what this is. I think it's, like, to hold your lunchbox or something, or, like, any other, like, things that you need, but... I honestly, I don't know. I just like saw it and I honestly just focused on the rest of this. So I think this is really cute. Um, so that is all that is in my book bag, but I have some other organizational tips that I can show you. Okay, the other thing that you will be nice to organize is a part of my other organizing plan that me and my mom and sister are doing, as I told you. And your goal you're going to need is a nice box but this isn't just no regular ordinary box I mean it's got flowers on it but it, it is a file holder and this is really cute and it's just got all these things and I will put all of my old stuff in it and I just wrote down all of the thing and we got little colored sheets to put in here so we know which section is which, which section is which and I will just use this to Put all of my loose, um, not loose, put all of my old papers in here at the end of the year. And I'll probably keep this for like several years. And it's got language arts, French, because I take French, um, social studies, science, and math. And this is basically like a color coded situation. So everything, I, all of my subjects are color coded. So I will know which one is which. So I can just like one day say, like, Oh, I need to take out my red section, which would be math. So everyone will know that Russian well, math is yellow, but I could just say that as an example. So I think this will actually be nice to do throughout the years, and hopefully it will keep me organized, and hopefully I don't get confused like I usually do. So hopefully this will be a very good solution for me. Well, that's the end of today's video. I hope this stuff helped you out. And I hope you have a very good rest of the school year. So, bye! This thing is like 100 pounds.
could use it to lift weights. Ugh.